Well, welcome back to Let's Play The Power, Part 11. And I'm sad. You know why I'm sad? Because I'm going to kick this boss's ass for a second time. Actually, I was going to say that I'm sad because the part says the, uh, this Let's Play is almost finished. But that's not true. I, I'm happy to see it gone, really. I want to get on to Majora's Mask. So, yeah. Look forward to Majora's Mask after this one. At least I hope you look forward to it. Like maybe you really hate Majora's Mask, for all I know. It's a really underrated game, in my opinion. And this is a Zelda game, mind you. It's kind of hard for a Zelda game to be underrated, but this one is. Anyway, that's enough about Majora's Mask. Back to repetitive boss fights. Made worse by the fact that they are repeated. Repetitive boss fights... Like a boss with a repetitive pattern, you gotta fight him a repetitive number of times, and then you gotta fight him. That number of times is then repeated twice. This boss is just insane repetition. Now, I don't even I don't even mind the first two sets of repetition. I just mind that the fact that you have to fight him again. And like I said, look now there's nothing. Now the terrain is completely flat. Why is it that it's actually easier? It's not like the enemies are harder or anything. It's not like the terrain was working to your advantage before and making the fight easier. It's not really a lot. E it's not really a lot easier or a lot harder. It's kind of identical, but I don't get it. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe these guys actually are a little bit smarter or something, but they certainly don't seem like it. I mean, I'm actually taking them out a lot faster, I think. So that might just be my missiles. I don't know. Either way, like I said, not very good planning, but it's an indie game, what can you expect? It's quite good for an indie game. Ah, a save block. Wait a second, why is there a save block here? It's rather weird. Hmm. And as if you weren't expecting it, here's the king to give me a little speech about how I don't deserve the power. Wait a second. I thought this was the end of the game. This isn't a happy ending at all. Yeah, that was... Obviously, I'm not acting, for real. I can act better than that. And I would, except that there's a bunch of people in the house, and I don't want to actually act sad. <laughs> They're going to all look at me funny. So, um, just pretend I was crying during that scene. Yeah, so basically, if you go to the king and you don't have all your power-ups, he tells you that you didn't even bother to get all your stuff back. He's not going to give you the power. You, don't, you didn't even care. So yeah, we have to go around and collect all those health energy tanks and all my missile upgrades and <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. So let's do that. Where oh where can my power-ups be? Where oh where could they go? You wanna head back to places from the beginning of the game where there might have been power-ups that you needed tools from later on in the game to collect, and which you never went to collect. I'm not going to go there because I just went there and there's obviously no power-ups, so I'm just going to jump up here and look around, because really I don't remember. Uh -huh. I'm just going to search around, really. Um, well, obviously there's one right there. Let's grab it. Oh yeah. Doo -doo 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 avoid these stupid whatever the heck these things are. I don't know. All I know is they're irritating and you have to have precise timing or just jump over them. You know? Either way, it's annoying. I don't like timing. Eh. Even though pretty much all of games is about timing. I don't like it, damn it! Hooked right into that guy. Hook a line and sinker. Those are some weird plants, I gotta point out. Look at them, they're like... Really strange, they look like something that belongs underwater. Actually, you know, that's kind of the motif of this place, isn't it? It looks like it used to be underwater. Like the water just got drained out or something. Replaced by all these weird robotic things that fly around trying to hurt me. Ugh. What happened to this planet, honestly? Well, I guess we'll find out, isn't we? That's kind of the point of the whole game. Gotta get info about the power from this king. What could it be? 
do. At least this game feels like an adventure. That's one thing I gotta say. It does feel like an adventure, and it, it kind of gets you into it. I mean, I want to know what the power is. Come on, I want to know. And it does actually tell you at the end of the game, and it's pretty satisfying. It's not like a huge cop-out or anything. So, you know, I think overall this game has some things that I find kind of stupid, but it's still quite good. I've said that about like a million times, obviously. I probably wouldn't be LPing it if I didn't think it was good. I don't think I've done a let's play of something that I didn't like. Although, I probably should one of these days, because it's usually funny. At least it's funny when other people do it. I'm not particularly funny myself, so... Maybe it wouldn't be funny when I'm doing it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really make a lot of jokes, I just kind of ramble. Uh, probably not a very good let's player, but I don't really care. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Something to do in my spare time. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Wonder if there's anything down there. Okay, apparently I didn't wonder at the time, because I went up here. Yeah. yeah, let's go down and check it out anyway. Yeah, landmines don't blow those up. I'm just learning that now. <laughs> it's like the third to last part. I think I said at the beginning that this was the second last part. It's not. It's the third to last. There's 13 parts in this. Do 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 do. I really don't like these urchin things. And as far as I know, there's no way to kill those either. And I don't think there's anything in this passage. Yeah, there isn't. Just down here is just uh, the old ruins, which I don't really care about, so... Let's journey back to the surface! That was really loud, probably. Oh wait, I'm looking at the whole thing as a whole. It wasn't that loud compared to the rest of it. I'm like standing in the urchin, like hardcore, man. I got so many energy tanks, I can just take it. I kind of like the uh, the damaging collision detection system. Like when you get hit, it flashes purple. I think that's pretty cool, actually. It's a cool technique. It lets you know that you got hurt. It lets you know that you hurt other things because it also applies to enemies, obviously. <coughs> Like I said, I do like the graphical style of this game. It's quite good. It's just... I would like to see a sequel. I'd like to see a, a sequel that's more dynamic. Obviously. 